As entrepreneurs with an online presence, we know how important it is to have pro-level graphic designs. Whether you're using them in digital products to sell online, for social media content, or anything else, having quality graphics is a must. I'm always looking out for better, quicker, more innovative ways to create these designs, and Canva is one of my go-tos because they make it so easy, even for complete beginners. In today's video, I'm sharing six of Canva's most recent releases. These are all amazing new tools that are gonna help you take your designs to the next level. Now, if you don't have a Canva account, you can use the Canva free plan or the Canva pro plan, which gives you access to additional features and capabilities within Canva. I have my affiliate link below, which is a free trial for Canva pro for 30 days. So whether you've been using the free and you want to try out pro, or maybe you've never even tried Canva before, and you think Canva pro might be a good fit for you, you can try that out completely for free for 30 days and see what you think of it. There are a few features on Canva pro that I personally love and think make it super worth the amount that you pay monthly, but you can decide what the best fit for your business is after trying it out for those 30 days. And before we dive in, I also want to let you know I have another free gift for you, which is my master list of digital product ideas. So maybe you're just starting out in the digital product space. You think you might want to make some money working from home, selling digital products online, but maybe you don't really know what you want to offer or what kind of digital product would be best. I have a whole list that goes through all different types of digital products you can sell, everything from templates to printables to educational resources. It's all there and that's a completely free guide just to help you spark some inspiration, hopefully give you some ideas as you get started with your digital products business. So again, that's linked below for you to grab after you watch this video. Okay, let's hop into this first Canva tool which is called Speed Painter. Okay, so I'm here on Canva, I've got my project open and I've come to the app section and typed in Speed Painter and this is the one we're looking at right here. We're gonna click on that and it's first gonna prompt me to upload an image that I want to use for this. So this is basically going to take a photo that I upload and use that photo to create a sketching video, which is really cool. You'll see in just a minute. So I'm going to choose a file that I want to use. I'm going to choose this logo for my reach membership group. And then once I've uploaded this photo, I can choose how long I want the sketch to last. So remember, this is an actual video that it's creating. Do I want the video to last three seconds, five seconds, 10 seconds? I can choose whichever one I'd like. I can select or deselect to fill it with color. So remember, it's a sketch style. It can either be colored or just black and white. And then the length of the color fill part of the video, I can change that as well. And I can choose if I want it to add a sketching hand effect, which is actually showing the little hand that's going to be sketching this image. So I'm going to leave that on and click generate and it's generated my sketch video. So now if I hover over this, I can see the preview of what it's looking like. So you can see how it's actually sketching out the photo that I uploaded and now it's filling it with color. And then if I'm happy with this, I can click to add it to my design. And here I can see it in my design where I can resize it and continue working with this project. And then I can download this to use when I'm done. So this is a really fun way to make a create a video that you could use for your social media content, or even put this on your website. There are so many different ways you can use these fun sketch videos. All right, the next new tool we're going to look at is called Font Frame. So again, this is a brand new app inside of Canva. If I come to the app section, I can type in Font Frame, and this is the one I'm choosing right here that's titled Font Frame. And this is a really creative way to uplevel your text and add an actual image as the background within your text. So we can see an example here that says, hello world. So first I'm going to choose the image I want to upload that I want to be the background of my words. So I'm going to choose this cute little cherry blossom tree photo and I can see that now in the background of these words and I can actually change the text I want this to say. So maybe I want it to say happy Monday and then I can continue editing the way this looks. I can first change this image scale. So if I drag this slider to the right, it's actually scaling that background image larger or if I take it back to the left, it's making it smaller and then I can actually hover over these letters and click to drag that image around so I can show a specific part of it behind the letter. And if I click over to settings, I can do some more changes like changing the font that the lettering is in, the alignment, the outline thickness, and I can even increase or decrease the amount of space between the letters themselves or the amount of space between the two lines as well. So once I'm happy with this, I'll click to add it to my design. And there I've got it in my design. I can resize this and continue to work in my project. I'm a big fan of any tools that make graphic design specifically with text easy and give us an easy way to level up our text and add some fun effects. So I am loving this font frame app. Okay, new tool number three is called Pattern Maker. So I'm gonna come to my app section, type in Pattern Maker, and here's the one I want right here, which is going to allow me to actually generate my own pattern. So patterns are great to use for a variety of purposes. You can use them as backgrounds for social media content or in digital products, or even use them to sell as a digital 
product itself with a product like digital paper. So with this Pattern Maker app, it's going to prompt me to choose a file. So I'm gonna select the file that I want it to use to create my pattern. So I'm gonna upload this cute little succulent. And now I can see it started to create this pattern with three rows and six columns. So I can either increase or decrease the amount of rows and columns. So let's say I want five rows and eight columns. I can change this around to look like whatever I want it to. And then when I'm happy with that, I'm gonna to click to add it to the design and I can resize this shift around the position. So again, this can work with photos. Like I have this actual photographic image of the succulent here. This could also work with something that looks more animated. So if you didn't want it to be a photo background, but you wanted it to be some kind of cute icon that's repeated, the sky is really the limit with this. And it makes it just so easy to create your own pattern if you're not able to find what you want anywhere else. Now I mentioned selling digital products several times and I'm guessing that if you're watching this video, you might be interested in making some extra money online, working from home and selling digital products is a great way to do this because there's so many different types of digital products that you can sell that make passive income, which means that you're only having to create those products once and then you can set them up to sell on repeat over and over again, making you profit with each and every sale that comes through, but not requiring more time or effort from you to actually manually fill any orders. This is why I love digital products and I love of coaching people in selling digital products. So if that's you and you think you might be interested, either you haven't stepped into the digital product space yet, but you're curious about it, or maybe you do have a digital products business and you just haven't seen the sales and momentum that you've wanted to, I have a free 45 minute masterclass linked in the description box below that you can watch where I take a deep dive into how to actually start and grow a profitable and successful digital products business. In the masterclass, I go through the top four decisions you'll need to make and how to actually make those decisions to set your business up right and get it started off on the right foot. So after you watch this video, definitely click that link to hop over and watch the Digital Product Powerhouse Masterclass. I know it's gonna be such a huge help for you. Okay, moving right along to our next fun tool on Canva, which is called Type Lettering. So again, I'm coming to the app section, typing in type lettering, and this is the one I'm looking at here. And this is gonna give me some really fun and more professional looking font templates. Now we know if you're familiar with Canva, there are some font presets already available within the text section on Canva. So this is similar to that, but to me, these are a little bit up leveled. They look a little more complex, but they're totally easy to use. And remember, this is a brand new app, so there's not much here right now, but I do believe this is gonna be continuing to be more and more developed and more templates are going to be added. But these are the ones that are here now, so for instance, if I like the look of this one, I can click on that and change what I want it to say. So maybe I'm promoting a flash sale. I can type in flash sale there and I can see it reflected in the preview here. And then there's all kinds of customization options from changing the font to the alignment of the words to the line height. I can make that taller or shorter and the colors that are used in the design. So I can just click on a color, click to change these around so that they reflect whatever colors I want in the design. And once I'm happy with this, I can click to add it to my design. Okay, next up is one of my favorites. I've had so much fun with this one. It's called Image Animate. So under the app section, I can click here where it says image animate, and this is going to create a video out of an image that I upload. Okay, so I can upload the image I want to use for this image animate. I'm gonna select that, which brings it over here under the selected image section. And then I can change several things here from how much motion I want in the video to how long I want the motion to last and the number of loops, which is the amount of times I want it repeated within the video. For now, I'm gonna leave this on AI motion and click generate. And this is going to use Canva's AI to generate this video from the photo and give it some movement. All right, so it's generated our video. I'm gonna move this photo over so we can click to add this to our design and take a look at how it did. So I can click to play the video and we can see here it's used AI to add some motion to this and take it from a photo into a video that's moving, which is actually really impressive. So this is a great way to come up with videos that you could use for B-roll for your social media content, or you could even sell these as faceless videos in a bundle as a digital product, as long as you have the rights to the photo you've used. Now I'm gonna remove this video and click go back because I wanna show you the other option here. If you're not wanting to use the AI, you can choose parallax motion, and this gives you several different choices of the direction direction you want the motion to take. So let's try out this step down one. We're gonna keep all of the rest of our settings the same and click generate. And here we've got it with a different motion. Let's add this to our design so we can take a look. So if I click to play, you can see how it's coming down and across, and that's a totally different motion than the first one, which was that AI motion. I think both of them look great and could have a lot of different kinds of uses. All right, moving on to our next Canva tool, which is called Type Extrude. Type Extrude is gonna give us a really fun 
fun way to create awesome 3D text. So again, I'm gonna come to the app section, type in type extrude. I can type in the text that I want. So let's try our flash sale again. I can change the font to whatever font I like here. I can change the alignment of the text, the line height, the border width. So how thick do I want that border around the words? I can change the angle, which is the direction that that 3D shadow is coming out from, the length of the shadow, and the colors within the words. I can also preview what it looks like on a dark background or a light background. And then when I'm happy with this, I can click to add it to my design and continue working with it in my project from there. So I hope you find those new tools useful for your business. And don't forget to click the links in the description box below to grab your free master list of digital product ideas, as well as to hop over and watch my free 45 minute masterclass digital product powerhouse. Talk soon.